Dr. Tony Ingram. I'm a biological dentist, a health coach, but most importantly, wife and mom. I'm the owner and dentist of Flourish Dental Boutique in Richardson, Texas, and I am your guide to optimal oral health and wellness and navigating the holistic community in Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, in my practice, we go by three guiding principles. The first is that dentistry should be safe, meaning you shouldn't have to worry that the materials your dentist is using are harmful to you or to your kiddos. The second is that your oral health is intricately related to your overall health. You can't separate the two. And the third and most important, I feel like, is that we were all meant to flourish. So a lot of people ask me how I got started in holistic dentistry or what caused me to transform my practice, to shift my practice. And um, sometimes we jokingly say, what made me come over to the dark side? It's really the light side. <laughs> Uh, so like many holistic and integrative practitioners, I got sick. So it was, let's see, it was 2000 and well, for one during dental school, I was safe. I was sick. Um, uh, my first pregnancy, I was super sick. I was able to ignore it, kind of get past it in 2011. Um, I, got much more sick. I was starting a practice from scratch. I was burning the candle at both ends. Um, I had a, a young family. I was busy. I was working full-time at an, another dental practice and I was just not feeling good at all. I went through a lot of different doctor's visits and a lot of trial and error and was finally diagnosed with Crohn's disease, which is an autoimmune condition that affects the gut. As many of you probably know, um, I tend to see a lot of patients who also have various autoimmune conditions. Um, but really what I found is that I, my doctors weren't giving me the answers that I needed. So when I was diagnosed, the gastroenterologist, who is a very, very nice guy, but basically said, here's your list of medications that you're going to have to be on forever. Um, and at some point the medications are going to stop, stop working. We're going to have to put you on stronger medications and eventually those will stop working and you're going to have to have surgery to remove all or part of your colon. And I just didn't accept that. I thought that was a really terrible answer. I was not not even 30 years old. I had a family and a practice ahead of me. I just didn't accept that answer. Um, so thankfully I was stubborn enough that I, I did take the medications for a little bit and I'm very thankful for those. They got me into remission and got me feeling better very quickly. Um, but then I really started working on healing and going down the rabbit holes online and learning as much as I could about how to actually heal my gut and get to feeling better. And what do you know? I healed my gut and I got to feeling better. And eventually I took myself off of the medications because I just didn't need them anymore. And I have not looked back and I've been in remission for over 10 years now, which is great. But all along the way, as I was learning these things and learning how I could actually heal, I kept seeing the correlation between my health problems and the health problems that my patients were dealing with that we were trying to solve together on a daily basis. And really, they're very similar. So Crohn's disease was all about inflammation and a disruption, an imbalance in my microbiome. Well, what do I treat every day? I treat tooth decay and gum disease. So it's all about inflammation and balancing the microbiome. So I just felt like a hypocrite if I couldn't figure out how to do the same thing for my patients that I was able to do for myself. So that's what started me on this path of 
finding ways to actually heal from tooth decay and gum disease, actually heal oral health, just like we heal other areas of our health. Um, and then once I started, and once I started talking about nutrition and prevention and how we can heal and be preventive in what we do, uh, my patients really helped nudge me the rest of the way. Um, and so they would hold me accountable and they'll say, okay, well, if you believe this, Dr. Ingram, why are you still using fluoride? Or if you believe this about what I'm eating or about toxins in my home, why are you still, you know, careless with amalgam fillings? Um, so I really credit my patients with helping me along the learning journey. You know, we're all kind of in this together and still my patients continue to help me learn every single day of my career. Um, so that's, that's what got me started into it. I made changes in the practice incrementally over time. And then when we opened our Richardson location in 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, um, Flourish, it was built as a completely 100% biological practice. You know, we practice according to these values that we've discussed. All right. If you've made it this far in the video, I am so, so glad that you did we're going to have some fun on this channel. So I hope that you join us. Things that you can expect is, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about dentistry, but if we talked all dentistry, that would get a little boring. So we are actually going to bring on some amazing guests. Lots of my friends who are also practitioners in the holistic and integrative wellness space. Um, we're going to talk all things health and wellness. Really, we want you to be a part of the holistic community that's in our area. Um, and if you're not in our area, we still want you to be a part of the holistic community. We're all here in this to heal together and to live our best lives possible because like we said before, you were meant to flourish. So I'm so glad that you're here. If you want more information, you can click the link below the video. You can visit our website, www.flourish.dental. Again, I'm Dr. Tony Ingram, and we'll see you soon.